you how to make latkes. This is a traditional Jewish recipe often made on Hanukkah, but they are amazing as breakfast potato pancakes. They literally disappear off the skillet as I cook them. My family loves these. And I'm craving some latkes, so let's get started. We'll start with the star ingredient, the potatoes. The traditional choice for making latkes are russet potatoes. You'll need to peel one pound or two large russet potatoes. Now, if you don't have one already, a great potato peeler is a must in the kitchen and it will save you tons of time, especially if you love potato recipes. Next, you'll need half of a medium-sized yellow onion. Peel the skin of the onion and cut off the ends. Now we're gonna grate the potatoes and the onions. You can either use the large holes on your box grater or use the grater attachment on a food processor. I will leave a link to this food processor in the notes, but my food processor does have two sizes on the grating disc. I do like to use the holes that are slightly smaller because the bigger ones give a pretty coarse grating. If you've never tried using your food processor for grating, it is such a time saver. Cut your potatoes into chunks that will fit into the hopper and just push them through. This process takes literally seconds to do and no elbow grease required. Once you're done with the potato, add the onion to the hopper the same way and grate it through. This really is such a time saver. Once your potatoes and onions are grated together, we're gonna drain off the excess liquid. Draining off the liquid is key to getting crispy edges on your latkes. And you'll be amazed at just how much liquid you can get out of your potatoes. To squeeze the potatoes dry, you can either use a cheesecloth or a kitchen towel. If you're gonna use a kitchen towel, make sure it's not a clean, beautiful kitchen towel because potato juice tends to stain. So pick a clean towel that you won't be afraid to dirty up a little bit. I personally prefer using a cheesecloth for this because it's a little easier to squeeze and I use and reuse my cheesecloth for everything. Now squeeze tightly over your potatoes and onions and really it is amazing how much liquid will come out of there. We also do this to ensure we have crispy hash browns and if you haven't tried our hash brown recipe, make sure you check it out. That's a lot of potato juice. Let me know what you like to use your potato juice for. Personally, I just pour it into the sink. Now we'll make a quick batter. In a mixing bowl, combine flour, baking powder, and salt. We're gonna give that a quick stir to combine, then crack in one large egg. The egg can be cold right out of the fridge, it doesn't matter in this recipe. Now stir that together until a thick batter forms. I'm just using a fork, nothing fancy. You just want it to combine. And of course I forgot, you'll also need some freshly cracked black pepper. Once a thick uniform batter has formed, you're gonna add your grated potatoes and onions to the batter. Now it's worth noting that as soon as you start grating your potatoes, they do start to discolor. So if your grated potatoes start to look a little orange or red colored, don't worry, you won't be able to tell in the cooked latkes. Stir your mixture until your potatoes and onions are evenly coated in your batter. Think of the batter as the glue that holds the latkes together and it also adds great flavor. All right, our mixture is ready and it's time to fire up the stove. Set a large, heavy skillet over medium-high heat. I'm using my cast iron skillet and I will link to it in the notes. Add enough high heat cooking oil to generously coat the bottom, which is about one quarter inch of oil. Once the oil is hot, you can scoop the potato mixture into the pan. I love using my trigger release ice cream scoop to make latkes because when it releases from the scoop, it forms the perfectly portioned little fritters. As you add the mixture to the pan, you'll want to immediately flatten the tops to make evenly thick latkes. Fry for four to five minutes on the first side or until the edges are browned. If you find that your latkes are browning too quickly, make sure you reduce the heat. You want to give them enough time to cook through in the center. Flip and cook for another three to four minutes on the second side or until they're golden brown. Once they're done cooking, transfer those to a paper towel lined plate to soak up any excess oil. And while they're still hot, I love to sprinkle them with a little bit of kosher salt. 
There's something just irresistible about a salty bite on potatoes. It's nice to add the little sprinkle of salt right as they come off the oil because then the salt sticks a little better. And it's time to enjoy these. And I've got my favorite taste tester right here. We're gonna do this together. How much do you love latkes? I love them a lot. Honestly, they kind of taste like Chick-fil-A fries, so. Hmm, it's true. A little crispy on the edges, soft on the inside. So good. The classic way to serve these is, and this is my personal favorite and my daughter's favorite, with some sour cream. So just take a dollop of that. And then just to add a little bit of pizzazzle, I like to sprinkle the top with some fresh chives, which we just plucked out of our garden. And this is how I like to eat my latkes. All right, show them your way. I like to eat mine with some fry sauce, actually. So take a third cup of mayo, scoop it into the bowl. Then you're gonna take one tablespoon of ketchup. And also put that in. What do we call this? Fry sauce. Fry sauce. Gosh dang, is it good? Uh huh. Also, a really good burger sauce right there. Mm. Oh, that looks good. I do love some good fry sauce. Okay, you want to grab one for the taste test? Mm hmm. We'll, we'll just, do the chuck thing. We'll just do. no, 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 not with the mayo. <laughs> Don't do the chuck thing with the mayo. Dad won't like that. <laughs> All right, you ready? Just take a dunk. Oh, that's a good amount of fry sauce. Ready? Mmm. Mmm. That crunch in every bite. I just love those crispy edges. How about you? Yeah. Same here. Oh, so yummy. Oh, I bet this would be good with a lemon garlic aioli sauce too. Mm. <laughs> well, we're gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of this taste test behind the scenes, <laughs> and maybe we'll share with dad. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> hey, you forgot your sauce. Forgot your sauce. Also, if you love potato recipes, ooh, there goes my sour cream, <laughs> make sure to check out one of our most popular potato recipes right over there, and... Don't forget to share this recipe with your family and friends. It really helps out the channel and more people know about our wonderful recipes. That's right. And let me know in the comments if you spotted Sharky and where you saw him. Bye. Let's go. Cool.